Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the Movie Monster March series. So as a lot of you know, I really love the Avatar The Last Airbender universe. I've always really enjoyed the story, the characters, and everything, but I also really love the monsters that are in it. And this one in particular was really hard to pick because there's a lot of different things within the Avatar universe that I really liked. Like, I really liked the Unagi, the Shirshu, uh, the elephant koi were pretty cool, and like Naga and the evil spirits from Korra. There was just so many different things that I could have picked, and it was really hard to just pick one. You know, I probably will eventually go back and do some sketches of my other favorites, but for now, I had to pick one of my favorites just because obviously you guys know I like serpent-like things, I like dragons, and anything like that I absolutely love. So today I'm going to be drawing the serpent from Serpent's Pass. If you haven't seen that episode, basically in the Fire Nation, there's this stretch of mountains that are just this really jagged mountain range that goes across this big body of water. And in that body of water, there's this giant serpent-like dragon thing. And I've really loved the design. It's kind of interesting because it looks more like an exotic fish rather than what you would think of if you thought of like some type of water dragon thing. And I just absolutely loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw it because Movie Monster March, I feel, is turning into a lot of really cool epic beasts. So I just thought, you know, why not give that one a shot? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it and let's get this thing started. Hey guys, future Caitlin here again. And I thought I'd chat with you guys a little bit more about um, Avatar and different things in the universe that I really like. And I thought it'd be just a fun time to kind of nerd out and chat with you guys. So like I said before in the intro, this was actually really tough to pick which monster I wanted to do. The close second for this one for me was actually the Shear Shooter. I've always really enjoyed the Shear Shooter. And for those of you who don't know what that is, um, I can't remember what season it is, but in one of the seasons, um, Iroh hires kind of like a bounty hunter to help track down the avatar for him and Zuko. And she rode this giant, like, I guess you could call it a blind mole thing. I don't know. It. I can't remember what monsters or I can't remember what animals combined together to make it, but it was basically blind and it had a really good nose. So if you had like an article of clothing or something that had a person scent on it, it could track it from anywhere, like anywhere around the globe. It was known to have the best nose ever. Um, and it actually came up later in the series in season four uh, when Aang went missing. He was called out to the lion turtle. Yeah, he was called out to the lion turtle and no one knew where he went. He just left his staff behind and he just was nowhere. So then uh, Katara, Sokka, Toph, Zuko, and... Well, actually, no, I think it was only Katara, Zuko, and Toph went to find this bounty hunter, and I can't think of her name, and it's really bugging me, but um, they went and took Aang's staff, and the shear shooter smelled it, but couldn't find him, and they were like, oh, your friend just doesn't exist anymore, because if he was dead, we could find him, but he just doesn't exist, and it was because he was out in the middle of the ocean, so uh, I really, really love the shear shooter. I think that's probably one of my favorites from Avatar, and I love the serpent from Serpent's Past, too, just because it's just this, uh, like, awesome, epic, big dragon serpenty thing and just the scene where it just demolishes different firebender ships. I think it destroyed one firebending ship, if I remember correctly. And then in an episode, I think Zuko ends up bringing the head of it back to the Fire Nation, if I remember. It's, it's been a little while. I really need to rewatch the series, but I know that the serpent had some pretty cool moments. I, I know for sure it was in the episode obviously named Serpent's Pass, and Aang and the gang, the Aang gang, <laughs> they had to worry about dealing with that while transporting the uh, um, pregnant lady and her family and whatnot, uh, whatever. I know they had to deal with the serpent in that episode. And then I think, God, I don't even remember what episode Zuko encountered the serpent on. I can't remember, like, obviously he was chasing Aang because that's like 90% of what he did for like most of the series. But, oh God, I don't remember if it was soon after the first time they went through Serpent's Pass. I think it might have been. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, no, maybe it wasn't. Uh, what I'm picturing is when he was on his way to Ba Sing Se and tracking down Aang. 
I think he passed through the Serpent's Pass. I don't remember. It's been a while. I really need to rewatch the series. And if you guys haven't, I'd really recommend watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, I know Korra isn't really for everyone, but I'd recommend both. But for sure, start with Avatar The Last Airbender. And actually, I know I've mentioned this in other series, but I think Avatar is one of the things that got me into really drawing monster mashes and like combining creatures together because uh, in the in the series they had a lot of different creature combos and really interesting animals like i know in bossing say they had the whole zoo just filled of all the crossbreed animals like oh what was it called oh the rabaroo it was a rabbit and a kangaroo and then they had these different cows that were like i think one was like a pig cow and I don't remember. There was a lot of cool things, and like the turtle ducks, the uh, dragonflies. God, I'm trying to remember what else. I know Appa wasn't really technically a combo. He was just a flying bison with six legs. I don't think he was combined with anything else. And then Momo was like a lemur, but with bat ears and wings. I mean, not like, I don't think it actually was bat ears, but he just had really big ears and bat-ish wings, I guess. But Anyway, they had so many cool creatures and animals and different things in that series that I just absolutely loved it. And I remember, I think it came out when I was in high school. I'd have to go back and look at the date, but I think Avatar started right around my freshman year of high school. And I would draw so many of the different creatures and I actually did a lot of creature combos back then in high school too. I just was like, man, this would be cool together and that would be cool together. And I recently actually released um, an episode that was a tiger shark where I combined obviously the tiger and the shark and I'm gonna keep doing those where I take different animal names that exist in our world and make them really literal. Yeah, there's like the tiger shark and the I think it's the rhinoceros beetle and um, Spider crabs. God, there's so many different ones, but I'm literally blanking. I know there's so many that are super obvious But I can't think of them, but if you guys have any other animal combos that you can think of. I'd love if you left them in the comments below. Um, I have like a small comment thread going on on the tiger shark one. If you wanted to comment over there or here, either is fine, but I have a list going um, of just all these different creature combos that I want to do in the future for different Monster Mash videos. And another little fun fact about combining creatures is for my senior project in college, that was my main project. I did a giant vinyl printout, which ended up costing, oh my gosh, it was a couple hundred dollars. It was pretty expensive, but I made three different animal combos. One of them was a silverback ape with a baboon with a lion, I think. Yeah, that's what I remember. And then another one was a giraffe with a rhino and a, uh, there's another animal that I can't think of. It looks kind of like an uh, antelope in a way, but it has a super long neck. And it has a really weird name, but I can't remember what it is. Um, so that was the second one. And then the third one was a vulture with a peacock. And, oh man, what was the third animal? There was one more in there, but it, it ended up looking like this weird raptor thing. It was super cool. Um, so that was fun, but that was my, my senior project. Basically, I took a bunch of animals that I really liked and tried to combine them in different ways because during that semester, I also did an independent study where I went to the zoo uh, at least two to three times weekly and did animal sketches and studied animal anatomy and just kind of tried to build my skills in drawing animals and creatures. So I wanted to combo my independent study with my final project, and I really did like making different animals and such, so I thought, you know, why not do this big monster mash together of different things? And I think that's where I really first started doing pretty serious creature combos was in college. I guess that was the really, the big first time I did it, but I've been doing it forever. So I know I just ate it up with Avatar. I absolutely loved it. And even in the comics, I think they're still doing it in the Avatar comics. They still introduce these new animal combos. And I'm so excited for the Korra comics, guys. If you haven't seen the new art, I think it was released by Entertainment Weekly or one of the news sites, but they have six teaser pages, I think, of the new Korra comic. 
and it starts in the spirit world and I, seeing all these new spirits, God, I'm so excited. I am so freaking excited for the comics. I think they're gonna be really fun and really good. I know I'm still technically talking about Avatar and the universe, but I feel I'm getting really off track. But I think I'll just try to, you know, come back and wrap back to this painting because I know I got off track and rambled on forever about my love of Avatar. Um, but yeah, th this was a lot of fun. I think for sure later on, I'm gonna have to do a painting or at least a sketch or some type of drawing of the sheer shoe because I just really like that one a lot. And there's just so many really great animals in that series. I, I think I just need to go through and just have a, a month where I every day I draw some animal from a show, at least in my sketchbook, and probably most of them will end up being different ones from Avatar. Oh, and then there was like Flopsy too. Do you guys remember Flopsy? If you watch the series, um, it was King Boomy's pet. That was like this, I don't even know what the combo was. It was like a rabbit with a goat. And I think it was like an ape or some type of, no, I don't remember. It was just such a cute combo. I can't remember what it was, but I loved Flopsy. He was super cute. But yeah, just me rambling. You can see how much I like the series, but I think that's all I really want to cover. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the speed paint um, and enjoy the music and I'll see you guys towards the end. All right, bye guys. So I'm all done and I really love how it turned out. There's a couple things that I'm still iffy on. Like I'm still not really familiar with how to paint water. So I keep experimenting and trying to figure out how I paint water and what I think looks good. Along with, I wanted to make the serpent look like he just emerged out of water. And that was a little tough because I still am also learning that. I don't know how to make something look like wet but also show water dripping off of it. It was it was a little tough, but you know, I still like how it turned out. I still really like it a lot. But anyway, thanks again guys for watching this video. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week. And if you like this, I'd love if you left a like down below or if you wanna chat about Avatar or if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. So thanks again guys for stopping by and I will see you in the next episode of Movie Monster March. Bye guys. <laughs>